Toronto Raptors are going through a series of exceptionally poor results. In their last six games, they've recorded only one victory and suffered four consecutive losses. Their latest defeat came at the hands of the Boston Celtics, and they currently occupy the 12th spot in the Eastern Conference with a record of 15 wins and 25 losses. The Toronto Raptors have had a turbulent period, resulting in disappointing outcomes. Primarily, the trade that took place has altered the team's identity. The addition of Emmanuel quickly and R.J. Barrett on paper has made the Toronto Raptors a much more versatile team. They acquired two quality options on both ends of the court, but lack of chemistry is the major issue. Additionally, the incident with the referees in the game against the Los Angeles Lakers garnered attention worldwide, and coach Darko Rajakovic was penalized for commenting on it during a press conference. There's uncertainty regarding the team's best player, Pascal Siakam, who is increasingly mentioned as a trade option for numerous teams. This season, he averages 27.2 points. It is clear that the Toronto Raptors have a significant motivation to finally end their losing streak and embark on a winning run in front of their fans. The key will undoubtedly be their start to the game, as the Raptors have struggled in that aspect in their recent matches. If they adhere to defensive assignments, breaking the losing streak is within reach. Miami Heat is showing improvement as the season progresses. They capitalized on a somewhat easier schedule, securing three consecutive victories before their upcoming game against the Toronto Raptors. Currently, they hold the fifth spot in the Eastern Conference with a record of 24 wins and 16 losses. The return of Jimmy Butler is a significant development for the Miami Heat. The team's star player came back in their recent win against the Brooklyn Nets, immediately showcasing his impact by scoring 31 points. During Butler's absence, Tyler Harrow delivered outstanding performances, returning from an injury and effectively filling the void. Miami Heat also has a reliable option in Duncan Robinson, who, despite not displaying his best form this season, is still finding his shot. In the front court, Bam Adebayo continues to establish himself as one of the league's premier big men, currently averaging 22.2 points and 10.4 rebounds. Miami Heat predominantly secures victories through aggressive defense, a trademark that has defined them for years. In this game, it will be crucial for them to impose their rhythm on the Toronto Raptors and prevent their opponents from playing in transition. Toronto Raptors and Miami Heat have already faced each other once this season, with Miami Heat emerging victorious by 103 consistent injuries. Toronto Raptors will be without Jaka Polo, Otto Porter, and Christian Coloco in their lineup. As for the Miami Heat, Drew Smith, Kevin Love, and Jam Jacquez Jr. will be sidelined. Considering that the Toronto Raptors are currently dealing with issues in their offensive unit and are still in the process of familiarizing themselves and redistributing roles after the mentioned trade, it seems that the Miami Heat's defense will come to the forefront in this game. On the other hand, Miami Heat is not a team that troubles opponents offensively, and the Toronto Raptors boast a solid defensive game. Therefore, our suggestion is under 230 total points. Our prediction is under 229.5 points. Remember, yeah, I will be